Right now, at this very moment, as you watch these light rays striking the magnified eye, similar tiny beams of light are entering your own eyes. And it's by our eyes that we are able to gain a great part of our knowledge. Nature has located the eye close to the brain so that its messages may arrive there quickly. Okay. Raymond. Do you do this for everyone? <laughs> ah. Yes. yes, I do. <laughs> so, <I'm> Raymond. <laughs> you do not have a last name because you are a diva? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like Cher. How big of a diva are you? Oh, very. <laughs> <laughs> do you wear feathers always? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's tell the audience who you are. You refer to yourself on your card <coughs> as a master psychic. Right. Um, I know you as a tarot card reader. Yeah. Tell me. So whatever. <laughs> yeah, tell me what. Yeah, I've been doing, I've been reading since 1956, and it's a so, combination of things that happen. And the cards are like a focal point, yeah, for different things. You know, I could read anything. So when you go Don't on... Don't have clippings. Yeah. Okay, really? Like, so you are like... Whatever. Yeah. So basically, you're picking up... In, you're picking up images or words or feelings? Right, right. A lot of times. So that's... It's a combination of things. That's where the psychic comes in. Uh -huh. And the tarot cards help you... Focus. Focus. Yeah. When you get on the train, are you picking stuff up? Sometimes, you know, at the shield. <laughs> How do you shield? <laughs> really? Yeah. What? What? How does it come to you? Does it come in images or words or? Yeah, yeah all kinds of things like all that. All of them. Yeah. Do. Do you get psychic impressions for yourself, or is it mostly other people? Yes, I wish I'd listen to myself a lot of times. Really? <laughs> now, how do you? You know, hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? Well, what's the difference between the deep internal voice versus a psychic? You know, people say, listen to that voice. Yeah, you know, what in the hell are they talking about? <laughs> Is there a difference between that voice that tells people, don't do it, do it? Is that psychic or is that... Yeah, sometimes it's common sense. <laughs> common sense? It could be that too. Could a mess... And then you get the, you know, psychic things and flashes. Okay, so what is the difference? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, everybody does. Try to figure it out. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's all these random stuff, and a master psychic might, it could be said that they have learned how to decipher. Yeah. Uh -huh. Raymond, you have been psychic since <laughs> all your life? All my life. Was that scary when you were young? No, no, it was just like, what's that? Do you remember how old you were when you first realized? Maybe about five years old. <laughs> Do you remember what the impression was? You know, just seeing the spirits around and knowing things. Oh, you could see yeah. spirits. And my mother said, we can never keep anyone with you. <laughs> you scared them off. The babysitters? <laughs> yeah. Because you would tell them random, bizarre information that would freak them out. Yeah, yeah. Now, what happened? How'd you get your first tarot cards? I forget. <laughs> you do? I think I just got them myself. In the you first. think you got them yourself? Okay, well, maybe... I um, started out with, like, playing cards. <laughs> you know, this kind of, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> when you, um, show the camera those. <laughs> these are, these are tarot cards. Yeah, these aren't tarot, but it's uh, the Gypsy Witch, and, uh, <coughs> they work pretty good. The minute you held them in your hands, were you like... Yeah, that's okay. That'll work. <laughs> you, you got that figured out? Yeah. So, um, you started doing readings for all your friends? Yeah. I always did. Uh, at Yale, my nickname was Cosmic. <laughs> you know, we used to have the Cosmic Muffin here on the radio. Yeah, yeah. Did you know him? Yeah, yeah he's Dale dead Mar now. Daryl yeah. Martini? Right. Do you remember what his expression was? It's a, on the radio, he would say... Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> It's Something about being ruled by the stars. Yeah, it's a, yeah. A I, fool that's ruled by the stars. Yeah.
Daryl Martini, the Cosmic Muffin, was like on WBCN. Yeah. On the radio. Yeah, for a long time. For a long time. We don't have anything like that anymore. We barely no, have horoscopes yeah. in the paper. Um, do you think society's become less searching, spiritual, or...? Not necessarily. You are from Massachusetts. You're a local boy. <laughs> Uh, and you've actually lived in Cambridge for 30, Three. 33 years. You're a Canterburyan. <laughs> um, but you um, really, what you're most famous for in this area is being Raymond of the Tremont Tea Room. Right, right. Yeah, I first went in in 1972 for a birthday reading, and I've been connected ever since. <clears throat> and I did part time for a while. And then in 1983, I started doing full time. You know, so I've been been there ever since, and it's gone through a lot. <laughs> yeah. So. And it's like, I've been there through like five or six different owners. The Tremont Tea Room was it the first in the country? And no, the, the New York was older. Okay, New there. York, but. And then then the, um, that folded in the. You know, in the 80s, I think somewhere okay. around there. And the Tremont was like the second oldest yeah, in the country? Yeah, the second oldest in the country. And it was forever in Downtown Crossing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it just moved around the area there. Were the people who opened it, the original owners, were they really spiritual and psychic yeah, and stuff? Yeah, and they had a bunch of old ladies. And <laughs> old lady psychic readers? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, were they of fun. a certain nationality? Like, what, was it Romanian? It would, yeah, <laughs> like the gypsy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not quite. Okay. Yeah. They were the real thing, though. Yeah, the real thing, and, the, and a lot of Italian ladies, and oh, no kidding. You know, a couple of Polish ladies and Irish ladies. So the Tremont Tea Room, um, it's great that it started out as totally authentic. Has it ever been a place that was just purely about making money, or is, has it always been a spiritual? I guess it's always mixed in. You know, you have to pay uh -huh. the rent. Right. <laughs> And different people, you know, <laughs> it gets weird. Yeah, so there, there could be arrogance among readers and... Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> that would never happen. <laughs> you know, laymen always have this idea of spiritual leaders as being like above it all, but that is really far from the truth, Yeah, isn't really. It? <laughs> so we should tell everyone who is a fan or a client of the Tremont Tea Room, they do have a new spot. Right. Right, and the Jewelers Building, 333 Washington Street. 333 Washington Street. Yeah, it's room 207. 207. Are they up B, and running? Yeah, yeah. They're up and running? Uh -huh. um, any of the re have it, Are any of the readers from the old days pe that people might know, or is it all new people? No, not really. They're still trying to you know, get, get a group up. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Alex, the previous owner, his brother was hit? His brother? He's, he's dead, too. Oh, they both died? Uh -huh. They both died. Okay. Hmm. And then the one before them died, and then I think Jane's still going though. <laughs> is it is it a lot of wear and tear to be a psychic to be yeah, a reader? Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, how do you? Because you're picking up a lot of people's energy. Right, right. How do you cleanse and purify yourself from it? Yeah, a lot of times you have to sage yourself. <laughs> you just say it to yourself. Yeah, or sage, sage. Oh, sage yourself. Yeah. So Raymond, yeah. are you going to be reading at the Tremont Tea Room, or where do you yeah, read? Yeah, I read anywhere. I've okay. read, read all over the world. Yeah, okay. So people can, like I can give your number out on the yeah. when I post this? Sure. And people can. All right, so let's talk about the tarot a little bit. Um, tarot's been around for how long? Centuries. Has, has the type of question changed? No, it's all basically the same. You know, about my job, my love life, my money. Why, do, why, 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 why did they do that to me? All men are bastards. <laughs> if, if you're giving someone a tarot reading and you're seeing something really devastating, I mean, do you ever see death? Oh, yeah. You do see death. Do yeah. you tell them? It depends on the person. You know, sometimes you, you go, okay. <laughs> you just get a feeling like they need yeah. to know? Yeah, some people drop when I say they drop. <laughs> you mean some people die like you, yeah. <laughs> you have you predicted other people's death oh yeah is it the and death card no no it's just what you know comes out so 
It's you know, the not death necessarily card, the death card. Death card is a, is a symbol for change, major change. Is there such a thing as a, a combination of And it of could cards? be, a, you know, a combination could come out where it's like, you know, it's, whether it's a, a person around them or the person themselves. <laughs> Every once in a while that happens. Oh my God. Yeah, one, one woman said that it helped her a lot, you know, because she was asking about her mother and I said her mother was going to die on a certain day. And she said that uh, her mom did die on that day. And when she came down, her mother was sitting in the chair and had a big smile on her face. And she said, between her mother smiling and me saying that was the day, she said this, this sense of peace there just came over and it was okay. And she was able to deal with everything very calmly. You know, and that, uh, so I want to see the cards in action. Is, or is that rude to the tarot? Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, all right. So Raymond, do you want, what do you want to do? <laughs> you want you want no, me to... No, this deck is the ocean. Yeah, you know, so you want to go travel? Okay, well, let me see. <laughs> oh, oh, are you reading for me yeah, right yeah. now? Yeah, journey because that conscious. is true. I yeah. do want to go traveling. You want things perfect, you know. You I'm like a the Virgo romance. Like you. <laughs> you like romance too, and the things. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> you know, you say, just shut up and kiss me. Oh, really? Because <laughs> you have a husband or somebody, right? I, I do have a husband. <laughs> I never say to him, just yeah. shut up and kiss me. Yeah, maybe He'll you be should. surprised <laughs> about this. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Yeah, just give me a break. <laughs> in, our, in my younger day, I was definitely with Oh, yeah. That. You know, and that. But it's certainly, <clears throat> yeah, for you, a big journey in consciousness. So the Gypsy Witch, and this is the, um, you know, sort of standard Rider weight deck. Okay. That was given to me in eight, 1983. Amazing. That yeah. very deck. This very deck. Yeah. And then the, the Jap this is a Japanese deck. Okay. Yeah, you know, and that. Uh, Are they into the tarot? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. They like readings too. Okay. I mean, like <laughs> in have, the country, even is the it a temples. Big thing? Yeah. Well, then even in the temples, they have different, you know, things for readings and. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's predicting future and. Okay. And the and the uh, gypsy witch. This is like my fifth deck of these, and the and the ocean. This is the ocean deck. You know, and it's like works pretty good. You know, the people come back and go, "Wow, that's pretty good." So you, you, you always like being in a. Uh, you just people. read a common. <laughs> you bring up a combination of these for like an individual reading. Yeah, yeah. So I use them all in the reading, and the, <clears throat> you know they create the stories, and it's interesting because there's always a correlation in the cards. You know that people pick out cards, and a lot of them come out the same exact thing. Okay. So and, it's, and when it's underscored, you know you get the. You know, you say, okay, we got the lover's card in this deck, and we got the lover's card in that deck, and we're juggling, yeah, and yeah. you know, we're trying to figure things out, and uh, you know, in, the, in life, and and our and love. I think know. I usually only get a, a fifteen minute reading from you. Yeah. That that it seems like if the thirty minute readings are hours, you do an hour reading, right? Oh yeah, that yeah, sounds exhausting to me um, for both parties. Yeah, it can, especially if some people don't have a life. A lot. <laughs> it's like, oh no, what are we going to say next? <laughs> it's like, very it's, it's, boring. It's, it's very boring. Do you find the most boring quick. people want the longer readings? Yeah, so a lot of times. <laughs> you know, they want a life and they want to have some, you know, story. <laughs> you know, it's interesting, you know, and the things people do, they just want to talk. <laughs> okay, is that what we're doing? Yeah, is that, that for us? And a lot of, lot of, lot of this too. You know, people come. You know, they just need someone um, to talk to, an objective. Right. You know, talk and the, you know things they could say to people that they would would say to a reader. You know, they would never say to anyone else. And the therapy session or just therapy. Yeah. You know, it's like being the poor man's psychiatrist. Right, right. <laughs> Basically, if we sum up the little reading you gave to me, I'm restless, want to get out of town, and I want someone to kiss me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, what I mean, love, is that so wrong? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so I'm going to get frisky yeah. here, Sam. Oh, yeah. All right, well, Raymond, you better get out of the house quick. Yeah, I'm going to be with you. <laughs> my crack shoes on. <laughs> hey, Raymond, yeah. thank you very much. You're the most awesome. I'm going to put your phone number up there. I'm going to try and shake your hand. 
a oh. homeless camera. Oh. We're walking. Jeez. Oh, I'm, are you getting my energy? Am yeah. I psychic? Oh yeah. What am I? What am I yeah. giving you? you? Feel anything? 